So, sine of 4 pi over 3. Last class period, we did a lot of practice problems on graphing, right? A lot of practice problems on graphing. So everybody should be fairly familiar. If I wanted to graph 4 pi over 3, I could break that up into, four, I could break that up into thirds because I know that I'm going to start with my initial side here. My angle is positive, so I'm going to rotate this way. Halfway around a circle is pi. But if you break it up into thirds, that's 1 third, 2 thirds, 3 thirds. So I need to go one little extra third over, which is right there. Would everybody agree with me that is a measure, that's a good measurement of my angle, 4 thirds? Okay. Now, the next thing I ask you guys to do is find the reference angle. So if halfway around the circle is 3 pi over 3, and I go to 4 pi over 3, I could say my theta prime is, or my reference angle is, pi over 3. Now, why is that important? Well, ladies and gentlemen, if I know my theta prime is pi over 3, then, uh, I'm sorry, OK. And if we're looking for sine, which coordinate are we looking for, the x or the y coordinate? The y, the y coordinate. Now, if you look at pi over 3, you look at your unit circle. What is the y coordinate at pi over 3? The y coordinate, we're looking for sine. The y coordinate at pi over 3. Square root of 3 over 2. So that's equal to square root of 3 over 2. However, look at which quadrant we're in. We're in which quadrant? Third quadrant. Ladies and gentlemen, should this be positive or negative? Negative. There you go. Done. Now, that is how I went and solved the problem.